This one is a titanium uh, black Vogel. And I have, um, I have an array of things to show. Uh, I, I have necklaces. Ooh, gorgeous. And uh, some special pieces. I have some glass wands to show as well. And this yeah, it's is, uh, gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. This is a Manzanita handle Lemurian crystal here. Ooh. And, uh, it was a collaboration with another artist that I... Wow. Love. So we have. Stunning. Thank you. Some thank fun you. things to talk about. I love it. Right? Yeah, so it's, been a, it, it's been a great week for me too. And I've been really just upping my game online and just in, uh, uh, pumping out content. And it's because all yeah. my shows have been canceled, you know, that I usually count on for, yeah. for the years. Just been swiped out. So I was like, okay, we're going to have to rock this now. And right, exactly. Uh, take it to the next level online. So I'm really, really deeply thankful for this. Well, it's, it's funny how things work out, right? I mean, yeah, indeed. You know, yeah. I saw your, I saw images of your jewelry and your pieces. I, I just like, oh, I, and I'm so glad we connected. So thank you for doing this. Oh, I'm honored. I'm okay. honored. So you, you were telling me earlier that you're from California. Okay. First of all, I need to introduce you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> John Ferris. John yep. Ferris, you are an incredibly talented artist. I have to say artist because you're so much more than making jewelry. You are literally making wearable pieces of art. And yes. you are in a very sacred place um, in Sedona. I think of it as very sacred. Very it is very sacred here. Very powerful. And I just I would love to hear you talk about your work because it's so amazing. Yeah, it's, and, um, it's been quite a journey, and I'm looking forward to sharing uh, everything that uh, I know about myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you said you were saying that you, a lot of your shows were canceled. Understand, understandably so. Was that all locally, or was that? Um, oh, California, Arizona. I had a Sedona Yoga Festival uh, that happens here. Was the first one that got knocked out, and then all of them after that were done. You know. Really? In, I had two in Arizona, and then the rest were in California. I do have one in October that will probably still be happening uh, So in Irvine, so I'm looking forward to that one. That should be a rocker for me. Oh, good. But, yeah, so. just having, just reinventing ourselves and staying positive. And I, I you have to. been blessed with some miracles to keep me going, and uh, some people uh, reached out. So, um, Okay, so I'm looking at some of your work. And it yeah. feels very powerful. And I'm thinking you now Atlantis, I'm thinking Lemuria. And all of a sudden my mind just starts going back to these beautiful places. Um, where do you find your stones? How do you get them? And how, how do they come to you? Okay. Oh, and shop mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, sometimes they just magically show up in my life. Um, I also have a, a dear friend that goes directly to Brazil and brings me he brings me these amethysts, like these amethysts right here have not, were not seen in the Western Hemisphere. The, he, like I unwrapped them. He's like, I brought these just for you. Oh, wow. And they're those just beautiful. Right? So wow. I, I, so I have, a, I don't know, I'm just, it seems like I'm blessed with, with some great connections with my stones and mainly go shop in town if I need something. So I don't really, sometimes I'll go um, eBay if I need a particular stone, but I like to shop for them in person, you know, if I right. get, because they, they just, they just, you know, they pop out at me and talk to me. And this is, this is one of the ones, this is my latest one mm. here. Just the crystal stores just opened up in um, Sedona. So I, I went uh, down and got wow. the, angel aura and put these little citrine drop flower uh little citrine drops at the so bottom here beautiful oh very gorgeous thank you thank you so when you create a piece you just kind of go with whatever whatever moves you or do you have ever have an intention with what you're creating well it's pretty much the same process as it's always been um uh what uh, what happens is I'll, I, I'm in my studio right now, actually at my, at my table here and I'll set, I'll set kind of my sacred space, some nice music 
clear my field. And then what I really do is I don't make any design plans or anything like that. I just sit and the guidance just starts mm -hmm. to come on. I'll hold the stone. I usually, um, like this one here, I'll enrobe mm -hmm. it kind of the same way that I enrobe my, my work with, uh, with the here. And then I just start looking at it and the information will come of where to put the weaves and the coils. And it's just step by step. I don't get the whole thing at, at one time. It just comes in as a guidance. And then, um, so I just go until it's done. And, and wow. uh, <clears throat> in the very beginning, it was, um, I was, I would be, I would be picking on a piece and I'd be going along and I'd be like, Oh my God, this, this looks terrible. I'm not sure where this is going. And then I'll hear this word, just trust. I'm like, oh, okay. And I'll keep going. And then a couple of moves later, something will click into place. And then it's the most amazing. I'm like, oh my God, I never would have thought of that or seen that. So, that is so and it's, wonderful. yeah, it's just been the same process this whole time. And um, I've just always been refining my skill and, and trying to learn new things and incorporate new things in my work and uh, I don't know I, I don't have a ton of different moves if you will I, I make the coils and the weeds a little bit but it, they each one obviously has its own flavor and frequency that comes through so how did you get started in this okay what? so this is um kind of a crazy story because I was living in Northern California at the time and I was very Involved in the industry in Humboldt County and medical marijuana and I uh, just living living my life in the redwoods up there and doing that thing and uh, that there was this one day that I went into my my friend's um, store and I saw this amulet that she was selling and I was like oh my god that's the most beautiful thing ever and I, I bought it and I came home and I couldn't stop staring at it and about took a bath with it you know I was like oh my god um, the next day, she was a friend of mine. The next day, she up and she's like, "Ferris, you need to bring that back. That was my partner's. I wasn't supposed to sell that to you." I was like, devastated. I'm not kidding. I was like, "No way, really?" And so I took it back, and uh, she's like, "Nope, I gotta have it back." I was like, "Okay." And I was like, "That was that was the impetus. That was the trick of the universe." I was like, "I'm gonna learn how to make one of these for myself." That was how this whole thing got, I'm going to learn how to make one of these for myself. So I looked at some guy's website, figured out a couple of moves from what he was doing, went down to the local beef shop in Garberville and bought the tools and some wire and just started practicing. And like I was telling you, like a month later, uh, I, was, I was staring at these things. I was so impressed with what was coming through this gift that had been reawakened. And... Um, so I was like, okay, and then people started liking it. I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'll put a website together, and I did that and got things going. It started to go along, and um, uh, it says my bandwidth is low, but we'll keep going. If maybe we're doing good here, right? We're doing good, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, where was I? Uh, put me out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're talking about how you were getting started. Oh, and getting how you started. To start making your own. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, how I got to Sedona is I I built the website and I started um, reaching out to galleries around the country and mm -hmm. New York and Aspen and whatnot. And um, pretty nobody was writing me back. And I was like, okay, I'm going to keep going. And and then there was uh, and a, a couple out to Sedona here and Andrea Smith Gallery in Tlalpapaki picked me up and. I was blown away. They were really the only ones that wrote back to me at that point in time. So I just kept going with them. And um, then I was like, man, I should go out there for a trunk show and uh, see what happens. And th they said, yes, of course. And I came out and it was really this door that opened up for me. And I, I basically just came back, packed my house up and rented it out and came out to Sedona and, and, um, started my new journey here in 2010. So wasn't on my radar to get it, but uh, I'm really blessed to be able to offer this now. And, and you never went back. That's, that's wonderful. 
Yeah, well, I did go back it. once to uh, up to okay. NorCal, but I I so impressed with how much it had changed and how much I was not that was not my life anymore. And so right. I'm really happy in Sedona. It's been quite a journey here uh, of self discovery and a lot of growth for this and perseverance and. Um, I remember, you know, coming out here and really just uh, thinking that I was going to make the same kind of money I was in Humboldt and I had to go through a big learning curve of how to market myself and, you know, keep going and go to shows. So, yeah, it's it's been quite a journey. Well, I love your glass work, too. What exactly um, is Boro glass? Boro glass is, is like Pyrex and mm -hmm. you see. Uh, people that have that are in the hot shop with the big rods and they're yeah. well, that's actually soft glass and it's different than boro boros uh, like i said like pyrex so it's harder and i'm just uh it brings me so much joy to go down there and make Ooh. amulets oh, wow. um and I, I, I mean, I have a stack of them on my table here because mm -hmm. I can't stop making them. <laughs> so I, I like to wow. with these sometimes, you know, uh, uh, people in Sedona are, are pretty fickle because they, you know, they love crystals. And uh, mm -hmm. so I love doing my glass work, but I, I do mainly um, the crystals and whatnot for people because they, they seem to like that. So do you co ever combine the two? Uh, sometimes, but I, I seem to, um, I think it, I want to keep my work in check with not getting too big. They already, like if I'm making a crystal this big and then uh -huh. I would put another glass in there, then it would be this monster piece. And right. I was showing you at the beginning of the show, this is actually a, a piece of glass that I've dropped uh, uh -huh. on and it's basically a full necklace here. Uh -huh. and, oh, that's um, so I, beautiful. I made this for um, uh, Sarah Soheli. She's a Persian actress, and I met mm -hmm. her at the American Music Awards. I was uh, mm -hmm. there to have a gifting booth, and mm -hmm. a ton of fun last October was out there for the show in LA and uh, met a ton of people. And yeah, so, and she actually likes a lot of glass, but she did, She thought this one was too big for her, so I, I made her something a little smaller. <laughs> so, well, but it, it seems so cool. It's when you wear it, it's like almost a shield. So it's like you're being protected when you go out there, it seems like, you know. Indeed. And, Indeed. They have, um, my work is, do you know what a radionics machine is? Have you ever heard of that? No. What do okay. you a radionics machine uh, te can test frequencies of different things. Like they use it on people, on soil to test soil samples. And my friend actually was um, a practitioner with a radionics machine and she got a couple of pieces from me and she tested them on the machine and they have a self-sustaining vitality rating, meaning they're emanating energy. And I believe it's um, from the, these coils, I'm going this one out here. These are the coils that you see that are mainly on the back of my work here. Uh, sometimes yeah. through. Right. here's one just by yeah. itself right now. And these are yeah. what I consider the generators of my work. Um, so mm -hmm. when these are around the crystal, it's basically amplifying the frequency that um, the, fr the frequency of the crystal. And to go back to a question you had earlier, mm -hmm. There is a lot of intention work that goes when I when I make an amulet for my clients. I usually ask them, "Well, what what do you want? What's the intention? What do you want uh, to go into? What vibration do you want to go into? Some type of action or uh, self love or whatever they're trying to uh, bring into their life or get out of their life, protect themselves from." And so when I'm in my studio, I'm really like when I spin out my wire, it's I'm holding that thought really like I'm just holding that frequency for them. So that goes into the piece um, that I make for them. Yeah. When they wear it, do they have to like charge it or is it infused with that energy or does it 
shift and change as they wear it or i don't think so i don't i don't believe it needs charging uh sometimes uh some of them need to get cleared you know and i add some warm soapy water and uh, a soft toothbrush and just rub it up and there's a whole all to programming the crystals as well uh holding it in your hand and saying the prayers so when a client gets a um, piece or if i send something out to somebody uh, i say okay well if you know how to program crystals um uh, go ahead if you don't i'll send you a link on how to do that because it's really beneficial these crystals you know science knows that crystals hold information and mm -hmm. Used, uh, I mean, they use them in computers and uh, right. technology. So there's actual actual uh, data that shows that they they hold information. So when we say our prayers into them, then they are um, holding that. And until you change the the program or the or the intention, it's going to be in there. So so different stones obviously mean different things. Right. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Um, so what would be, well, right now, considering this virus has not only a lot of fear going on, but people actually are very sick. Are there any stones or crystals that could help people either defend against that fear and virus or heal from the virus? Or I would say uh, rose quartz would be a good one for keeping your heart more peaceful. This is a rose quartz. Oh, that's beautiful. And um, rose quartz is a great one. Uh, I would say something like the black onyx that I'm wearing right here is a great stone for protection. And um, the quartz crystal is a mass is considered a master healer. So basically, this will take whatever um, whatever the person wants and and really be able to infuse that into. The piece and and have that protection on them so and i can't tell you how many people have just uh really been astounded when i've been at shows when they hold them and and put them on i always like okay the invitation is take this and if you want put it on your heart and see how that feels some people some people don't but a lot of people are like wow that's really incredible so they're they're definitely got some zip to them and I, I love doing different sizes and this is a oh, wow. peridot and a ruby that uh, so I'd, I'd have to look up what what these ones mean right now but I'm just showing you for example They're beautiful you had mentioned earlier that you wanted to take a bath with the one that belonged to um, your friend's partner can you take a bath put stones in water is that is and I what? Like, um, you're saying that when you first saw the, the amulet that inspired you to get into jewelry making, yeah. you, know, you wanted to take a bath with it. It was like that powerful. Can, yeah. you, it, can you take a bath with stones? I mean, is it something that you, you could just take with you into the water? Is that okay? Or should they not be in the water? Or Oh, they can, there, I would say fresh water would be good, but never salt water. That'll, that'll oh, uh, mess them up. tarnish the, the wire. You know, I'm using gold fill and sterling silver. I don't want to really have that in salt. Mm -hmm or too much but um i definitely recommend uh, rinsing them off uh, occasionally or giving them a little bath when they need them and and uh taking care of them that way so okay well so say if someone wanted to wear it and could they wear it like you know all the time or is it something that they should just only wear certain times i mean i would say as when they first get a piece uh -huh. of be that first day where it's like, whoa, this is really working with G field. And I, I made it, you drink a little bit more water or just take it off for a little bit, but it's, you know, I, I wear my piece every day and um, definitely this one, when I go out, I'd, I'd rather wear my amulet than a mask <laughs> at this point. But uh, right. yeah. Well, so, so how do you feel about this whole virus thing? Do you think it will last for a very long time? Do you feel that, It'll be over soon. You know, what, oh, wow. what energies do you tune into? You know, I'm I I'm kind of waiting to see what's going on. I oh. saw that uh, China kind of had a, a reinfection that was happening oh. over there, and I know that we're slowly opening back up here. I know a lot of people 
very antsy to get back to it and get out of their homes and whatnot. Um, for me, um, quite honestly, I just, I'm just not, that doesn't really, um, it's not in my, it's not in my space to even, it's just right. part of my reality, really. You know, I, I mean, I go out and I see people and they're doing their thing with um, mm. their feeling about it. And um, I just, I, I really stay out of that. I just, that's not my right. place. It's, yeah. Right. Yeah. How do you feel about it? No, I, I think I'm with you. Just find that love, you know, that love space, that love, you know, come from that place of, you know, well, there is, you know, that, that space where there's nothing wrong, you know, where there's no yeah. fear. And it's that space of creativity, you know, where you can be inspired to make a piece of art, you know, jewelry, that's art. And um, yeah. just allow yourself to be in that flow. Um, but yeah. I personally, I admit, you know, I get caught up in other people's fear sometimes. And it's really oh. hard to just like take a step back and say, okay, that's yours. You know, yeah. and I, I'm going to send you love and yeah. it's okay. You know, and, yeah. and that's what, one of the things I loved about your amulets. So I thought, wow, to have one of those is just like, okay, all right. I'm in my little bubble here. I'm safe. <laughs> you know, I send you love, you know, be at peace. <laughs> you know, yeah. so, that, so, so that's so my government. Sophia, have you ever read that book uh, or heard of the book Transurfing? Transurfing? No. What is that? Um, it is, uh, I'm not sure, I have to look at the, uh, Vadir um, is the author's name, but it basically talks about these pendulums that come into our mm -hmm. life that kind of, we can get hooked by, by them, kind of get knocked off our, our center. Um, uh, and I think that the COVID is, is a big pendulum for a lot of people. <laughs> Just not. Right. And yeah, it's like okay, everyone. It's it's gonna be okay. You know, it it's really just, is. You know, yeah. It's it's definitely nothing we've ever really experienced here on the planet before. And I know that uh, uh, the universe has a plan with this. God, goddess, how, wh whoever you want to. Right. There's watching this and uh, letting this unfold. But I, I feel like it's bringing out a lot of growth. Um, uh, there's, it's bringing out a lot of, I, I don't know, people are either choosing to grow or not grow right now and just kind of stay they, because they want things back the way that it was, I think, you know, they just want to go back to the way things are and uh, they're not able to flow as much through the changes that we're um, uh, involved with right now. Well, people aren't being given a choice, though. It's like, there is no going oh. back now. <laughs> you know, no, really, yeah. Yeah, that door and is closed. Yeah, and as far as the timeline, I guess we'll just have to see. I don't, I don't have, I'm not a seer like that. I, I'm really sensitive with energy. I have a, I have a little, like, I can, I'm really sensitive to about 10 minutes out in the future. <laughs> like, yeah. People want to call, you know, are going to call me or walk by my house or something like that. I'm really sensitive that way. But as far as like when things are left back or you mm -hmm. think, I have no idea. I'm just enjoying the show like everybody else, hopefully. <laughs> well, uh, do, do you find that you have more interest in your, in your crystals because of all this? People turning towards crystals for, you know, a shift of energy or, a, you know, a shift of, you know, the belief of feeling a different type of love or that protection or, or something that's just different? Absolutely. People are super thirsty. That The ones that are waking up right now and, and really getting turned on and activated, yes, big time. There's a lot of, I'm busier. Um, I've been reaching out a lot through Facebook and my pages and I can see the response that people are really like, oh gosh, I, I, I'm so glad I found you and I'm so glad I found your work and whatnot. And so... Um, I share a little bit of uh, words of wisdom on my YouTube channel, um, some different techniques for healing. I have some wire wrapping tutorials, but I'm always here for people um, in a way of service. So um, I'm just overjoyed that I have this gift and I'm able to share it and it's, it makes a difference in people's lives. Right. Oh, well, your, again, your work is beautiful. Um, tell me about your wands, because your wands okay. just looking amazing. What exactly okay. are wands used for? 
Well, wands are really powerful tools. I'm going to grab this one right here. So I have, first of all, wands. Let's say if we have, this is like a, a way too big for um, a pendant, but it can be used as a, as a wand. And what basically you want to do with a wand is you have an energy center that's in your hand here, a chakra, a chakra for, you know, there's a lot of healers that will send energy with their hands and whatnot. You've seen that, Reiki, whatnot. So basically what you're doing, whether it's a glass wand like this here that I made, or even this one right here, is basically you're going to want to kind of plug it into your that, that chakra there. And what it's doing is uh, crystals will focus that energy and the termination – that you point the, the tip of it, the, what's called the termination, is where energy is shooting out of. So it's basically like really um, a laser beam of whatever you're sending through your hand right there, where your intention work comes in. And I also have, I think I showed you this a little bit earlier. This is a Lemurian uh, with a uh, manzanita handle with a pyrite inlay. Oh, that's gorgeous. And this one, this one you can kind of hold like this in your in your arm. So it would be kind of like oh. that, right? Okay, it kind of has like a laser gun look to it though. Yeah, it's like a little, it's like a little laser blaster. Right. <laughs> so they're very beneficial for doing healing work. Um, mm. Helm Reich was uh, a man in the 60s who worked for IBM, and he became fascinated with crystals, and he had a lot of technical equipment to do a lot of testing, and he really figured out that um, you can do a lot of healing with, he did a lot of healing on people with crystals because he, he understood that, and he was able to test and see the difference when things are um, happening in people's bodies when he was working on them and whatnot. Wow. Yeah, so it's super thing. I still learn things, uh, every, not every day about crystals, but I, I'm still learning and I'm still keeping my, uh, keeping my eyes open for new things about the crystals and whatnot. Have, and, have you ever tried using the crystals on, on healing, either yourself or someone else? Or? Um. I haven't, um, I, you, I, if I'm going to work with somebody with a crystal, it's probably going to be through my amulet, but I, I have um, a healing touch that comes through my hand, and I, I don't really feel like I need um, a, a crystal for that because I, I, I don't, my, my hands know what to do with, um, with the energy already. So, But I, I enjoy what people... A lot of people have a lot of different t techniques on how they apply mm -hmm. to people. So, and all of them are valid, you know, because it's basically intention along with the person's kind of uh, agreeance or approval that, okay, we're going to have some healing. happen. so it's kind of a co-creation between the healer mm -hmm. and the person that's getting worked on. That's right. It's like you're almost holding space for them to receive. Yeah, to receive that, that energy coming in. Yeah, yeah exactly. Wow. And they're just allowing and um, uh, letting spirit work through us and and uh, just letting things flow and open up, you know? I, I think more people need to do that, just flow and open up. You know? Yeah, and for sure. It's like, it's like, okay, we're having the shift happen. It's going to be okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just, yeah. And I think people... Uh, one thing that's been really helpful for me is I, you know, I, I can tend to get in my head a lot and think about things a little bit too much and this and that. And um, what really helps me out is just remembering that when our awareness, um, like if you, if your awareness is in your head, most of the time, most people's awareness is up here and they're thinking about things. But if you, for example, put your awareness on your heart and even put your hand on your heart and bring your mind down to how that's feeling in your heart, 
then there's no more thinking. You're really in more of a feeling state. So when I, like if I roll around in bed thinking about too many things or something, I'll just do that technique and it brings me back to my heart space. And it really, it's been helpful to just stay in my heart through this whole thing and, and be there for other people. And, um, you know, I get a little frustrated because other people are frustrated, but I, it's like, okay, well, we're, we're in this dance and we'll just help each other out and I'll hold space for you when I can. And, um, going crazy, then I'll love you from way over here. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, so that's a, it's a really interesting dance we're in right now. That's for sure. Well, has anyone ever come to you and said, what crystal would be best for me? You know, based yeah. on Indeed. And I will, um, I'll usually kind of ask what their, uh, what purpose they're looking for. And then I can, you know, I, I know a lot of different stones and then can do a, a little prescription, mm -hmm. if you will. Okay. You need some rose quartz or you need, um, uh, an aqua aura or something like that. And, and cause them have a different, different flavor or vibration to them. This isn't, this is an aqua or a Vogel right here. Mm. And it's basically a clear crystal that has had vaporized gold bonded to the surface of it. And it gives it this, mm. this uh, wow. look, it's just gorgeous. And this one, um, this one is actually double terminated. Remember we were talking mm. about having the energy kind of come out the tip here, right? Right. That's a tip on both ends of it. So it's bi-directional. The energy comes uh, through and out in either direction on this one here. So super special one right yeah. here. Does it matter what kind of chain it, you wear it on? Or I mean, to wear it I on your body? I think it's up to the person, you know. So it doesn't I, matter. I, um, I bring a lot of uh, sterling silver necklace uh, chains to my shows. This one that I have on my neck is stainless steel. Mm -hmm stainless steel as well because it doesn't you know it doesn't get tarnished or anything like that so um i don't know uh, it just depends i'm i don't make a lot of uh full necklaces but i do enjoy that um so chain or necklaces uh, or ribbon <laughs> or whatever is preferable for for the person yeah so how how long does it take you to make one of those one, the, one like the one you just showed me is oh, it? this one, this one here, um, most of them take up to three days. It's all hand spun and hand woven. So wow. it really, here's so show you the beautiful. back of this one as well. So this is the back. Mm. And so, yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. And it's not a straight three days of eight hours a day. You know, I, mm. I kind of flow in when I, when I feel guided to go ahead and work on it. If I'm not feeling it, I won't go into the studio. It really needs to be, I want to be on point and a hundred percent with wanting to be um, getting going. Sometimes I, you know, I have to kind of break the tension and get in there if I have a lot of, a lot of things, to do. but um, um, I'll flow in for three or four hours, work on it, take a break for uh, an hour or something, go out for a bike ride have lunch or whatever. And, get back to it for a little bit, but I don't push it, you know, it's just let it, let it take its time and they're done when they're done. This one, this one, my latest one right here with the uh, uh, angel aura and the citrine took me two days to do. So sometimes they go a little faster than that. Um, uh, if I really need to knock them out, I mean, I can push through and make one in a day, but I don't like to do that. You know, I don't want to, I don't want right. to, you know, now, are all those spoken for for galleries or? No, these are all from the shows that I was heading to. I, I have two full cases right now. And so I've been uh, updated wow. my, with, uh, with most of them. And my Facebook business page has got a shop on it with a ton of them. But uh, yeah, I have quite an inventory right now. <laughs> good, good. I was well, really just like, woo, I'm going to keep working. I have all these shows. And then it was like, oh, no shows. <laughs> So, well, and they, you know, a man or a woman can wear them. I mean, they're definitely you know, gender neutral and definitely. powerful. And, definitely. You know. And I, I have to admit, fashionable too. They are fashionable. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> it's, uh, they're, it's, I, I used to I call them like jewelry sculpture, you know, they're, like you said, they're little pieces of art. They're, 
uh, little technology amulets uh, behind the scenes, uh, but you know, people love the way they look. And I, I feel like um, my gift is uh, just for some, you know, I think things are beautiful mm. as mm. there's the curves are right on it. And this is just a spool of wire that's just been bent in, in pretty curves and shapes, you know, really. And so my gift is knowing where to stop bending that wire so it's got that perfect curve and um, right. goes and balances with the rest of the, the amulet. Right. I love the fluidity of it. It just You could just feel the energy moving just by looking at it, yep. which is yep. really nice. Thank Very you. Powerful. Thank you so much. Super so, blessed. So if someone wanted to get one of your pieces, they could just go to your Facebook page, you said, John Ferris? John Ferris. Ferris. Um, yeah, John Ferris. I, uh, yeah, I've got, I sent you the links already. John Ferris right. Visionary Arts is my website. Mm -hmm. Uh, John Ferris Facebook page, um, all the latest amulets that I've uh, been coming out with are on my wall there, and some of them have been purchased, but there's there's some still there. Um, and if if someone needs to reach out, they're having uh, some questions about what they need to wear, or I'm always here to, and available to help uh, get through that process and and always be. Uh, just love being of service and making people smile with my work. And you do custom pieces too? Yes. If someone I said us new. Yeah, I'm really okay. excited about doing custom work because um, a, a part of that process when I come in to my studio and uh, set the sacred space is tuning into a higher aspect of that of my client and mm -hmm. get information from their higher selves. Uh, that's a big part of really really connect with with people on that level so when they get that um when they get their amulet it's uh, uh, a perfect match for their energy and i always consider that people that are attracted to my work are getting ready for the next level of their life they're uh looking for that energetic upgrade um that will uh, assist them in the next next moves in their life and a lot of people have commented how how much they've helped nice now yeah. have, um, it's, it sounds like it's a very personal personable and intimate experience to, to find a piece but what about as gifts like someone decided to buy something as, as a gift and say for whatever reason that energy wasn't a right match does that does that ever happen or would you say like the higher self kind of guides that kind of situation I would I'm, I'm just say, I, I would say that it's just like uh, I don't want to compare it to buying a pair of shoes. You go into a store and you see you you kind of see the shoes you you like. They're usually you know you get the right size or whatever, but yeah. you can tell you, you, people can right. which ones they need. And, and as far as a gift, um, that's a good question. I um, I I would I would certainly help. Huh the person, uh, find that gift for the person, for their friend or family member or whoever. Um, I don't, uh, yeah, I haven't, it's been more people reaching out for personal pieces than uh, right. had a son reach out for his mom and we kind of went through it for Mother's Day and went through the process and, and uh, picked one out and she loved it. So it worked oh, perfect. <laughs> well, first of all, I don't see how anyone can go wrong because all your pieces are just stunning. You know, they, oh, thank you. you know, just, just from images. And here I'm in California and you're in Arizona and, and I just get this strong sense of energy just from a photo. So, wow. I mean, they're so, nice. they really feel powerful. And well, I, I think I, people really want to feel that power within themselves. So indeed. I, I think that's what's so cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. People, um, People are ready, and uh, I'm, it's it's just you know there's a lot of people that are doing a lot of good things right now, and I'm really grateful that everybody's just been stepping up and helping out with service work and coming together and and uh, connecting. And um, I when I go to you know my my whole thing is I I don't feel like I I I sell these uh, amulets. I feel like I'm when I go to shows I'm I'm just offering in my my energy and um, most I, I 
I just love engaging with people and they, uh, a lot of the people that I met from last summer are still friends and email me. And so uh, consider my email list, my family. And I, and I tell them that every time I write them each week. And so it's just, it, yeah, it's fun. It's really good to engage, you know? Okay. So you have a, you have a newsletter then? Yes. So yes. Uh, okay. Um, on my, uh, there's a uh, email sign up form on my website and also on my Facebook uh, business page. There's a sign up form to join my email list. Well, your work is incredible. I, uh, I want a piece, so I'm going to have to look into and you know, figure out which piece calls out to me. It's like, Sophia, okay, this one, or this one, or I'm a Gemini, so I'll be like, ooh, I want them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I just said, yeah, I'll just send the, to both cases and you can pick through and send back the rest. How about that? Or I'll just have to make it out to Sedona. Um, oh, do that. Yeah, I like, love that. You'll flip out when you feel these, and you've been here before you were saying, right? A long time ago. It's been, it's been quite a while since I've been there. But okay. Sedona has a strong sense of community community though right I would you say, say that or, yes or it, yes I I'm I feel like it's shifted a little bit um, from when I first got there I feel like there was a, a tighter tighter community uh, for me anyway and more so I still have a core group of friends but I, I I'm not I don't I don't I don't see a lot of group activities. You know, there's really no dancing here at night or, you know, the town rolls up about seven o'clock. And so I, there's ecstatic dance and a little bit of a community, but not as maybe perhaps as much as I would like for me anyway. Right. It's my fault because I'm always working or, or in my studio. <laughs> <laughs> not always working, but you know. You're always working. <laughs> right. I could make more time, I suppose, but all good. Right. So well, I, I can imagine how much more quiet it's been recently because of this quarantine, mm, this lockdown. Indeed. You know, indeed. And Sedona's pretty much counts on a lot of tourism, right? Yeah, we've, it's been a, just a complete ghost town here. And I was, I noticed probably a couple of weeks ago, people from Phoenix are starting to come back up. They're getting itchy to get out and whatnot. And I live in uptown and it was crazy because I, I saw these people out walking around town actually was busy because they came up for the day and whatnot. I was like, Oh my God, this feels so nice to have people around again. I, I, it was like something was missing. And at the same time, um, I'm not hearing any traffic right now. And I'm hearing more birds than people in cars and that's pleasant as well. <laughs> so. Yeah. Pros and cons to everything, right? <laughs> yeah, indeed. Perspective, right? Right. For well, sure. Well, you, I am just so grateful to, you know, to have found you on Facebook, you know, and, um, oh, Sophia. Was, and to see your work. And, and I just greatly appreciate your time and talking with me. And I know there's so oh, much that people honor. don't know. You know, um, people just, they like crystals, but they don't really know what it means or what crystals can do. And so even just, that little bit of, you know, wearing something on them can make a huge difference. You know, Indeed. And, and Indeed. Then that your they, energy. Yeah they, yeah, they have energy to frequencies. So they're uh, crystal allies. They, they help us in, um, in so many ways. And I'm so glad that more and more people are coming to the table for uh, more knowledge with that. And, you know, when I go down to Tucson Gem and Mineral Show, um, I, I know there's some people that are like, oh man, they're just raping the earth and digging these out and putting them on display and that's horrible and bad. And I'm like, no, that's, you know, they're really, they want to be out right now. They want to be out in the world and moved around and uh, put in places, you know, it's like they're gritting, gritting the earth and, and the different places go out to. So the crystals are super important right now. You know, I, I, I hear people use crystals to create grids, like multiple grids. Is yep. that something that you also do with your jewelry? I mean, because of your jewelry or with your jewelry or something? Not so much. So no, much? no, I'm not a, I'm not a, a grid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, that's other, other people's work. But I, I, uh, what I will do is if um, for special clients uh, that uh, I feel like I, I'm guided to, I will take the crystal, when, once I'm uh, done with 
it for the person, I'll actually go and take it and put it on one of the vortex spots you know, overnight. I'll put it in a little pouch and uh, put it under a, a tree branch or something like that so nobody can find it and put it on the land and really charge it up. And then they're like, they've got the Sedona vibe in it too. So that's awesome. Wow. That right? sounds awesome. Yeah. I, okay, when, when I get one from you, you have to do that for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean, yeah, that's an extra bonus right there. Yeah, super bonus. So awesome. Only for the super right. cool people like you, girl. <laughs> that, looks, that sounds so awesome. Well, you know, it's, it's so great that you do this. You know, it's just, you know, you're part, you know, it's like being, you know, part part of the earth you know it's like in that part of you is with the, with the crystals that goes with someone else so it's just like good vibes all around yeah i feel like uh, i'm somewhat of an ambassador for the elemental realm and um and certainly for the crystal well, and i'm super glad i kept going uh with my work there was a couple of times in the beginning i was like am i doing the right thing you know because i was ha struggling and having problems selling things and right God, am I doing the right thing here? This is, is, yeah, keep going, man. Keep going. And something will, something will happen and propel me forward and some success will come in. And now it's just been uh, just this wave of success that uh, I got invited to the American Music Awards for the gifting suite. Uh, Vogue, uh, British Vogue magazine just reached out to me and wants to, you know, they want to put me in their magazine. They want me to pay, you know, it's advertising. But I felt super honored that, um, they even considered me was also involved in um, a contemporary jewelry exhibition in Milan, Italy for the last couple of years, uh, Art of Star Jewels, and went over there two years ago for uh, the first one for myself and went to Milan and had that whole experience with a hundred other artists from around the world. And that was uh, just a mind bender and great experience to go and be a part of that and see Milan and wow whatnot so who knows what's next but i just keep right. saying yes and keep keep plugging along and keep doing my thing and uh just keep allowing yeah. really really right. the main thing you know i love that just keep allowing you're in the flow baby you're flow, in the baby. flow i love it <laughs> yeah very cool well i'm so just like us uh, sophia yeah, yeah we're, so we're grateful. in the flow all yeah. right, my dear. Well, you, um, I look forward to seeing your work, and I will definitely post it so people go to your website, that they subscribe to your newsletter, that they hit you up on Facebook. Uh, and that, you know, hopefully you have to be in the studio and just crank that stuff out because people are going to want your work. I know, yeah, I know. My, awesome. my case has just got light all of a sudden. That's awesome. Yes, I love it. <laughs> right? Oh, uh, well, I love it. we we're going to need to, yeah, let's visit some more. And, and uh, we're, I, I feel like we're friends for life. And yes, definitely. Super grateful that you thought of me to have me on your show and, and share a little bit. I'm honored that you have made the time for me for this. Well, like I said, your, your work is powerful stuff just from pictures. And I can't Gosh. wait to hold one in my hand because okay. I, I think we all need to activate our superpowers, you know, and, yeah, yeah they're talisman to activate our superpowers. Right? That keep yeah. those vibes up. You keep, know, us, or, keep us smiling. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I, I love that it's all from your heart. You know, everything you do is just from your heart. And that's it, so beautiful. It really is. Beautiful. It's the only place to be, really. You know, it's just, uh, you know, that I just learned a long time ago that the perspective of being positive is way easier than being crabby, <laughs> you know, and, and hating on things. And, wondering why things are happening. It's like, okay, well, if I just shift this into, hey, this is a gift and, and life is sweet and pretty soon life is just constantly sweet. You know, it's just where we aim our minds and our hearts. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm so grateful to have found you. So thank you so much. You are and such we an angel, Sophia. Well, you will definitely stay in touch. Please do. Touch. Please do. Yes. Shoot right, on my dear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, have an amazing right. night. And okay. Well, you're going to sell all those amulets. You know, I am going to sell all those amulets. Yes. At some point, they are, it's divine they, timing. They, I, yeah. Yeah. They need, yeah. you know, people need them. You know, and they yeah. need to get out. So and I be good. deeply appreciate that you're blasting me out in the world a little further than my reach now. So that's awesome. Well, those crystals want new homes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, and we, yeah. uh, 
we were, we're, I'm going to say our prayer that we were going to say at the beginning, at, uh, at the end oh, here. I, I love that. Yeah. What I wanted to say at the beginning, but we'll be saying it right now, is I just hope this um, activates and benefits those that uh, see it and um, just really uh, just opens a lot of hearts and, and um, educates and a little bit of entertainment. And, and I'm, I, what I was going to say at the beginning is like, I intend that this is going to come out better than we ever could have imagined. So we'll still keep that intention in there and, and uh, go from there. Right. So. Right. In the flow. We're just in the, in flow. the flow, baby. In yeah. the flow. Uh, With love. With love. That's right, yes. right here. <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> okay. Thank uh, you so much, John. We will talk soon. Mwah. Yeah. All right. You as well. Love you so much. Thank you, John.